Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is us finishing a job that we started weeks ago. If you recall, we stripped out the bed, the bed frame to allow us access into the garage area so we could modify our locker so we could install a privacy curtain. That job's complete now. You might have saw the video last week, but it's time to finish off that job. We need to be able to transport bikes, mountain bikes, e-bikes, all stood up to allow us to use that space better so we, that means we need to lift the bed so we need to adapt the frame that's existing to accommodate these bikes so let's see how we got on so we're working on the near side this tonight we're going to remove the steel that runs along right along the back and what we're going to do is we're going to mount a 3x2 in its position um, we're not going to put all the bolts back in, that was a bit of overkill on my part again. So we're going to put every other bolt back in. I've marked that onto the timber, we're going to take the frame out, lay it on top of the timber and drill all the holes. And then we're going to recess the nut heads as well, the bolt heads. And then that way, that should save us, I reckon, 5-6 kilos each side. A lot of weight. Right, let's make a start. Didn't want to come out of there. She's out now. <laughs> the welds broke off. I'm happy with that because I thought I might have to chop that. Obviously the weld's gone over time, so... We did weld it in position, it's lasted, I'm happy with that. Well, there you go. 27 days, 20 hours and 11 minutes till we set off for Spain. I need to get my finger out. So this is what we're doing. We're transferring some of the holes. We're not doing every hole, we're basically starting here. Drill that one, that one, that one, that one. Same again on there, and then we add in the end piece. That takes a little bit of calculating and measuring. But once we've transferred the numbers over, the holes over, we'll just drill it and we'll offer it up and we'll see what it looks like. Then we recess the bolts with this Craig tool. So this is for doing door hinges. Excuse me, cupboard door hinges. But yeah, straightforward, does what we wanted to do and makes the job look tidy. So just making the holes big enough for M8s to go through. That's it. That's the majority of the holes drilled in. Pretty straightforward. Can actually get rid of these now. More weight out the van. So the way I'm going to set this piece up is I'm going to measure from the centre of this hole in the van to the centre of this hole at the back. And it should be round about there. And then it's just a matter of drilling them like we have with the others. All right, so the gap we're going to measure is from that bolt hole there to this one here. And that is 475 I think. So that's our last hole of the metal frame that we had and we've measured out to 475 so we're now going to just pop this frame on there line it up across that hole and then drill the three holes that remain in. Just make sure it's central and it is. I need to strip out this window surround. There's a couple of little repairs I want to do on, on these um, both sides as well. So we'll whip these out quickly. is uh, quite stiff so you've got to give them a good yank pop that out the way right 
Next thing, remove this controller holder. Nothing else. Right. So, a couple of screws on there. And then all we've got to do is get behind the panel and just give it a pull and it should come away. That is heavy duty Velcro holding that in place. And that is all three pieces. You see how hard that was to get off. It works a treat. Right, let's get these out, get them cut. The beauty of this is you don't have to be exactly in the center it'll still do the same job. So all we're doing is recessing it so then the head of the bolt and the washer is inside there so we can, we've got nothing sticking out that could get caught or damage anything. All done. So that, once we install it, will be as strong as all them steels. Way back when I started building this van, I didn't really consider that that lot there <laughs> was overkill and over the years I've regretted putting it in so I'm glad to take it out now so if anybody's looking for a heavy bed frame I've got one I don't know how much of it I'm going to use but um, I don't think I'll ever use them side pieces again that's for sure I might end up using the top pieces but we'll see we'll see now so we've screwed everything in by hand to make sure it all lines up and guess what every one of them went in and it's in the right hole the right location if you know what I mean there was no issue they all lined up perfectly <laughs> that is solid that is solid well solid so that's both sides done happy with that again we've lost about an hour just pissing around making pieces up just to see if things will work as we expected them to and they do so we mocked up this piece so we're going to put another run of cls right across the top there and we'll have a piece that goes right across to the other side and then we'll run back up here we're going to put a little carrier piece underneath this will be glued and screwed this will be just uh, drilled through at a couple of points to hold it in place into the bottom one and then we'll just run the lights underneath there right down the side so I'm thinking another two three hours and we should have all the braces set up and that should be us done look at that in 26 days and 32 minutes we will have set off <laughs> So today we've turned them to mock-up pieces. You may remember yesterday we did. Was it yesterday or the day before? We made these pieces to see if everything would work. It did. So now we've fabricated these two runners for the side of the van. So all I've got left to do is put the three screws in the top on this second piece. I'll do that and then we'll stick them in the van. Yeah, I got up this morning and I, I started cutting stuff, just getting it all fitted because uh, it takes a little bit of time chopping. Well, you, you know yourselves, when you've got a cut list, you just want to get stuck in and get it all chopped up. So that's what we did this morning. But one of the other parts we cut was the beam for the front. So we cut that, uh, we've put it in, but we haven't fixed it yet. There's still a couple of little jobs I want to do. I want to have a spacer in the back of there because this piece here, is floating we need to fix that somehow but that is going to be so the mattress has a, a lip to push up against so i was going to glue these but then i thought well, what happens if something goes wrong and i need to uh i need to strip it all out so we're just gonna we're just gonna fix it by the time the frame's in it will have locked everything in place anyway 
best tool I've ever bought, this little impact driver. I've had it for, I bought second hand as well, in a, in a whole bunch of gear. I don't think I'd ever need it, but I tell you what, it's probably the, the tool that I use more than anything else. So if you're going to buy yourself a bit of kit, get yourself a good impact driver. That is quite substantial. Right, today we are going to get stuck in. We've got 23 days, 23 hours and 31 minutes. It's Sunday morning. I want the bed back in this van today. We're also adding in LEDs right the way around and that's what I'm on with now. But last night, I decided to do something different. Have a look at that. That is a wrap that I bought a couple of years ago. Didn't know what to do with it, but I've got sick of looking at this. And at some point, all this is going to get changed out. I don't like it. I really, there was a time and place for it. We've done the best we can, but it now needs to go. We need something better. So I wrapped some timber, some ply that needs wrapped. But we've moved all the controls that were in the van. We just need to finish off putting them in. But we've been wiring them up today. Just in the middle of tidying up this little bit of bird's nest. Once that's done, a couple more cables to wire up. The LEDs are plumbed in. So we've got a bit to do today. LEDs, beams in, locked in position, timber back in, mattress back in. And that should be us done. And well, before we put the, all the base back in, we'll trial run the bike the bike should fit <laughs> I hope it's fit, gonna fit we've tried it a couple of times I don't think anything I've done should have changed that too much but we'll uh, we'll see how we get on let's give this a measure make sure we're not underselling ourselves 29 and a, just over 29 and a half inches so that's that should be enough to get the bike in under the bed. Fingers crossed. The beauty of these LEDs is they're self adhesive, and if you're putting them in trunking like this, they take no time at all. You just peel the backing off, and then whenever there's a lamp, an LED, I just push it. So it takes, so it sticks to it. I think that's going to give us plenty of light. Well, that's the last of the LEDs on the frame gone in. The only ones we've got to do now are the ones on the crossbeam. But we can install them later. I've done all the hard work. We're going to crack on and put the, the base back in. So I've equally spaced these out. Um, they're about 17 inches apart, 18 inches apart. And uh, the back one's fixed. The only one left to do is the one where I'm stood. Before that, I'm going to give it everything a really good clean up now. Good hoover, get rid of all them iron filings, the swarf from the drilling. Um, yeah, it's come together today. So hopefully, within the next hour, we'll have the bed back in. And we can try the bike. This wind is not helping. So let's get this big one in first. <coughs> Nearly lost it there. Oh, the wind's got it. <laughs> yeah. The wind nearly had that one away from me there. And then this piece will just sit up there like that. Nice. Well, that's the bed back together. Just needs screwed down in places. And, uh, yeah. That's the boards in. Right, just to show you what we've done so far. We've actually taken an inch, well, an inch and a half off the back of the floor. Um, we did have a piece that overhung that had the original trim on because under here is the original floor for the van so we cut that nosing off we chopped it back at an inch and a half say and that was to me that was so we could save well there's probably an inch inch and a half there 
of height that we didn't have to in, you know, lift the bed that inch and a half more. So by doing that, we've we exposed the metal work and the paint work. So we've got a plastic trim here from B&Q that was like 14 quid. We stuck that in under the lip. We then ended up with a nose and trim from B&Q as well, which was about 22 quid. We've made that level with the floor and that's allowed us to mount the first bike bracket there. So that's saved us an inch and a half. That's why we're only, that's why the bed is only at 29 and a half inches high to the bottom. But before we go any further, we need to try the bike in position before we start screwing everything down. Now this bracket comes with multiple adapters to allow you to fit any size fork. It also accepts skewers or shafts. And uh, I've got the bed at just the height where it allows the bars to go under and then we can drop down onto the bracket. Right, let's just pop this wheel in here as well. Now the final check for us is when we shut this door to see if anything clashes and it doesn't. It's a nice fit. We made sure that the bracket wasn't going to foul the back door. And as you can see there, everything, there's plenty of gap there and the handlebars are free from the bottom of the frame. So we ended up actually saving a little bit more height by pushing this bar back. What we found was if we push this bar back, we've pushed it back around about four inches, 100 millimetres. By doing that, that allows the handlebars to sit in this recess here. And in the end, we only ended up lifting the bed I reckon around about 60 to 65 millimetres. So again, by doing that and moving this bracket down onto this floor here, we ended up saving quite a lot of height, which meant we only had to lift the bed from here to, to this level, 29 and a half inches. Now we've put the e-bike in and I just want to see I didn't want to come off there. Right, that's the e-bike in the van. I just want to check the position for the, the bracket. So, looking at that, we've got a decent gap all the way down. No clashes. So I think if we mount the bracket there, we should be good. Well, that's them both in, fixed in position. Spun that one round just to give us a little bit more clearance on this back edge here. So none of the gauges or clocks or switches got damaged on the back of here. This still needs screwed up, which we're going to do next. Drop the mattress in and uh, start building the van back up to sleep in. <laughs> so that's it. It took a little while. It's a little bit convoluted. I know a few of you suggested compressing the forks, but I looked into that and apparently over time that does damage the seals on the forks or something to maybe avoid. Um, some of the journeys we're going to be doing, they could be compressed for two, three days before we get to where we're going. So that's a bit long to be holding something in position and compressing it. But I'm happy with how that has turned out. I love these bike mounts. They're absolutely brilliant gives a lot more flexibility and they can just stay there now i just could remember when i'm climbing the boot not to catch my knee on them i'm just getting ready to put the mattress back in now all the beds finished off and i've just remembered about this stuff here so we installed this i believe it's called AirTech. maybe is it AirTech? but um this is the stuff that they use between underneath your mattress on a boat this is to stop any moisture being absorbed by your, uh, well, not to stop. It prevents moisture being absorbed um, into your mattress by keeping a flow of air between it. So you've got your two surfaces and then in between there's lots of tiny, tiny little fibres. The camera doesn't want to look. <laughs> Let me uh, just try and get the camera to look. Sandwiched between the two honeycomb pieces of fabric is lots and lots and lots of strands of fiber it's 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 like a plastic fiber you can squash it down but 
when that's underneath your mattress it still allows air to flow and that's it in situ right we're gonna go and get the mattress and uh, throw that in <laughs> oh that hurt Huffing. <sighs> Where's that from? Oops. Oh no. Oh no, I've broke her. Lisa's gonna be well upset. Right, first job fix that when I get in. Right, how cosy, oh it's cosy. It's not too bad. Well, I think we can finally say the bed's finished. The uh, secrecy curtain, privacy curtain is still, still does fit. <laughs> Let me just check that out. Yeah, that'll be okay. That's fine. With 21 days to go, I can finally say that the bed is finished. Um, <laughs> I can't remember how long ago we started. I think it was maybe 55 days or 40 odd days. But anyway, it, it feels like I've been working every night that God sends um, just to get to this point. And we're here now. We've done it. We've got the um, the bed in. There's a little bit of work to do around the boiler box, but that's nothing. That's just decorative stuff, isn't it? Um, but yeah, we've pulled the curtain across here. Have a quick look. There's a privacy curtain with the mattress in place. So basically, that's how it's going to look. I think that works a treat. It really does. I think it makes everything really cosy. That was probably one of the biggest jobs I've had to do in a long, long time. Um, but, <coughs> excuse me, it's all done now. The gap isn't too bad. I've laid in there and I've not got an issue with it. Just have to see how the boss uh, feels about it. Um, broken mandala, I'm gonna have to contact my friends, get another one try and save that one um yeah so the bed's done now that's something else off the list we've done quite a few things this week that we can tick off the list um yeah it's it's been a busy week i'm tired so that's me i'm off to bed thanks for watching if you're enjoying what we're doing um we're actually on day 21 I maybe didn't say that before day 21 three weeks to go before we set off so now i'm going to concentrate on servicing the van uh fixing the strut tops and doing the ac clutch um last year you may remember the uh, tension and belt tension belt tensioner broke um thought it damaged the alternator but at the same time that i was in there it made sense to change the alternator out even though it wasn't damaged. I thought it had damaged it, but it's it's fine. So we've got a spare alternator there. Yeah, it's when that's happened, I believe it's damaged the AC clutch as well. Um, just, you know, jumping around. It's just finished it off. So we've managed to track one down, 70 quid, got it from Germany. It took a little bit of time to get here, but it's here now, so we can get that fitted on as well. That's another thing to add to the list. <laughs> I'm meant to be ticking things off and I'm adding things on. But anyway, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you are enjoying it, we are on the countdown now towards 10,000 subscribers. We broke 4, uh, 9,500 4, 9, at the weekend. Thank you very much. 
um, it's you guys that's going to make this happen not me I'll keep banging the videos out and hopefully you'll like them and like them enough to subscribe if you think this is useful to somebody else please share it I don't mind you sharing the videos um, promote them where you want share them with who you want they're there to be used I actually found I need to go and check this I found somebody it took two of my videos zoomed in chopped out the crafty blinder logo in the bottom and was promoting them as their own videos so did a copyright strike against them uh copyright claim sorry and that's that was youtube so they had seven days to respond so i'm going to go back in and have a look at that in a minute and see how they got on cheeky buggers eh? and all they did was they blotted out all my talking it was all my video 100 percent my video and just put music over the top of it <laughs> maybe that's what i should do stop talking just put music over the top Anyway, like I said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next Sunday. Three weeks to go. Three weeks to go. Why not head over and check out our new website, www.thecraftyblinders.co.uk. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and our Facebook group, The Crafty Blinder Van Builds. Thanks for watching.